Hi everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time we collected all of the Tears of Light in Elden. And now we have to go to Death Mountain to help the Gorons with their problem. Also, we rescued the kids, but who cares about those? I guess some people do. Yeah, move. What about you two? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I must return them. Of course. Do, do they return to their parents eventually? I know that Mallow doesn't, but I don't even know whose parents Mallow are. Do you guys know? Do you guys care? Because <laughs> I don't really. Yeah, I guess I can also explore Kakariko as a human now. Oh, also they blocked off this passage. Uh, I'm guessing that in the original GameCube and Wii version, there was some bugs of... Uh, yeah, bugs inside this place, but they were removed for the convenience of players of the HD version because collecting the bugs was really annoying. Presumably. Because otherwise, that was completely pointless to allow you to go in here as a wolf. Also, there's nothing to do here for the time being. Let's just say that it's a vacant lot and someone was eventually gonna buy it. Eventually. What about the inn? 100 rupees, are you serious? Also, the hot spring is free. Hmm, that's a great deal. Okay, so everyone's dead. Never mind, you can't actually... Like, you can stay here for free, but it's not gonna do you any good. And this place still looks like it's been ransacked. Perfect! It's really too bad about Kakariko. They're, the only NPCs are all over there, apparently. Well, there's Barnes too, but he's... Well, actually, he is the most interesting. The most comical, but also the most interesting. Barnes Bombs. Hi. Yeah, a storehouse. That's what it was. Hey, what happens if I do this? Yeah, I believe that if you do it from a distance, he does this. Yay! That's fun. Hmm, but apparently we can't get bombs from him just yet. Unfortunate, but we'll we'll get bombs from him very very soon. I'm pretty sure. From him or from some, from someone else. Now what's over here? Huh. And I might have been able to dig through right here for more bugs? Maybe. Yeah, definitely. This this screams a spot you could have dug through. Well, I keep saying definitely, but it's just what I suspect. I could be wrong. Oh, cool, there's a treasure chest. My exploration has been rewarded. As it should be. Yeah, see, there's water over there now. At least that's what it looks like from here. And this is the view from up here of Kakariko Village. Yeah, Death Mountain still looks really ugly. I don't get what it's the th those things on its sides are supposed to be. Huh. Don't know what they were thinking. Anyway. Let's test out fall damage. Die, Link! Oh, well, really? That's all? Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, gonna go ahead and restore my health and then we're gonna go to Death Mountain. Uh, well, actually, there's those other places. I guess I'll check those too, but there's probably nothing inside. Oh, cool. Uh, an, an insect or collection bug. Whatever. Female ant. That's where you find it. I was not expecting this, but it's quite convenient. 
Uh, just gonna check the collection screens. You sent, yeah, 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 and yeah, golden bugs. That's what they are. So there's 24 of them. Collecting all of them, it yields you an okay reward, but you won't need that much money. So it's basically just a little bonus. And a fun collectathon, sort of, kinda. Not as fun as the Golden Skultulas, however. Because, you know, the Golden Skultulas, you have to stab them. Much cooler. No humans allowed! They do! No humans may pass, and don't bother, you're not gonna stop him. Whoa. Nope. So, we had to do that just to see if we could stop it. And wow, it did damage me. <laughs> well, anyway, we can't do anything here, so we have to go back to it here. Mm-hmm. Yep. What? I mean, you probably didn't tell me to do that, but... Uh. Yeah, I know who it is. Yep. Should have told me that from the very beginning. That's probably what I should have done from the start, but I had to test my luck against that Goron. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to avoid him. Also, I said last video that I was going to get my horse back, but you had to do that thing first before you could get your horse back. Hi, Epona. Hi. Stop, please. Yeah, that's... It's normal for a horse to be a little agitated after... ridden by... <laughs> monsters. Hold on. Ah! Come on! Epona! It's a quick time event! Who knew we'd get another one of those? I'm right here! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop panicking, Epona. Seize! Yeah, quick time event. I, I can't believe there's so many in this game. Also, wow, that <laughs> the cord on, Ep on Epona's whatever, on her snout, is clipping through her neck, occasionally. Ah, GameCube game. Uh, yeah, hi, Mina. Well, we can always already teleport, Mina, right? Uh... Uh, well, we might not be able to teleport when we're out of the twilight, but we already have the potential to teleport, and that makes Epona really, really pointless. Fun to ride on, but pointless. Also, we can jump over this stuff. Man, we can use our... Not him again. Stop interrupting me. Oh, by the way, there's a funny glitch involving this guy on another part of Hyrule Field where he can accidentally fall into the abyss and that will glitch the game so that you never, ever, like, the game will be frozen because he'll never get to you and therefore the game will get stuck in one place. Yeah. Anyway, that was a letter. Let's read it right now before I forget. Yeah, next dungeon. I didn't read the full letter. Hold on. Yeah. Whatever. There was no point to that. Did we really need this letter? Come on. I only want to speak to acquaintances. Thank you very much. And that... Oh, wow! I, I completely forgot to make... Give my... Uh, I completely forgot to get the Ganondorf Amiibo effect on. Hold on. I would not have gotten the game over despite all of the times I got damaged. So... It should be okay. Oh, on the map, it shows where the... 
Like, can you guys see it? Yeah, you guys can. See those stains right here? This stain right here? That's the spot where you can call Epona from. This is going to be an item that allows you to do that from anywhere you want, but by then we'll definitely have the ability to warp anywhere, so there will be literally no point to it. Uh, I wonder. I'm saying we have Epona. Can we jump over the gate all the way over here? No, no, we can't, because there's a barrier right over it. The designers thought ahead. And you cannot go to Hyrule Castle because... That thing tried to attack me. You cannot go to Hyrule Castle because of those rocks right there. So don't bother trying to do that. Yeah, keep trying to attack me, silly beasts. Hmm, cannot restore your health while you're on Epona. That makes sense, actually. Because it's Epona who's in the water now, not you. Oh, speaking of which, can Epona swim? No, she can't! Huh. That's lame. Why do you not want to swim, Epona? I he I've heard horses are decent swimmers, aren't they? Although I guess they don't want to go in the water. Hi everyone, I'm back. I'd better bring the Pona to Bo. Yeah, I'm here. Did I not talk to you? Uh, I guess not, I think he was locked up in his house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His eyes are kind of cool. It's a good, I guess it's because he keeps them closed so often, so when you see him, you're like, huh, he's got eyes. Yes, I should have said no, it's probably gonna, like, there's no way you can avoid not getting the item. Sumo wrestling? That sounds oddly Japanese, I wonder does, why the designers would put this in this game. Also, I do wonder if this is gonna come up after, <laughs> after we have to do the certain, the two fights we have to do against the Gorons here. No. To be honest, I didn't need to hear them in the first place because we're literally only going to do this thing two times. Maybe three times. I'm just a squirt. But you know, fan service for the ladies and some of the men. Crap, I forgot about the controls. Uh huh, just, just keep pressing the A button, really. See, I just continuously press the A button and I win. It's like sort of kind of rock, paper, scissors, but honestly, it's just luck based. Oh, 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 okay, three times. Now he's not gonna fool around. <laughs> Slop! Yeah, if, if you press the same button uh, at the same time, it's gonna be like, uh, uh yeah. Uh, 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 no, D don't you dare. Uh. Slap. Move to the side. Slap. I win. Cool. 
Mm-hmm. So, Gorons are... To be honest, it doesn't make sense that we can beat the Gorons with this thing, but... Whatever, we'll, we'll take it. It's gonna be useful in the second dungeon. The Iron Boots! Like, <laughs> to be honest, uh, I don't believe the laws of physics work that way. Even with iron boots, the Gorons would still, like, Gorons, fictional beings as they are, should still be able to push you around. Just, like, your legs will stay put, but your body will be tipped over. Possibly be even be separated from your legs. You know? That's what I think, anyway. I could be wrong. Never really explored this guy's house. Would you guys look at that piece of wood? Ugh. So simplistic. I mean, the entire place is made out of wood, but... You all know what I mean. That statue. So, I'm gonna put the iron boots on. Uh. Items. I'll put it over my lantern. This is what happens when you got them. What if you try to get on a Nippona with the Iron Boots? Oh wow, we can? Oh, but uh, we got... Our, our Iron Boots are gone. I remember in Majora's Mask, if you try to get on Nippona with any of the other forms, uh, na no, not Navy, Tatol would tell you not to do that. Hmm, I should talk to the other villagers. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. As sort of kind of shallow and gimmicky as you are, I still want to make you feel good. Can I go in here? No, I can't. I can never go in here. Hey, where's Russell? He's gone? That's too bad. Well, at least your son is still... Well, your uh, <laughs> current son is still alive, lady. His name is Milo, right? Or was it Jason? No, Colin. <laughs> I'll still call him probably Milo or Jason if I want to. I've told two people. Oh, right, there's the lady inside the store, too. But technically, I've already told her husband, so she'll know eventually. Yeah, and this guy over here. Giant forehead guy. Your reaction is not as good as it should have been. Yep, I'm gonna tell you too. Have I met you before? Y you look new. As if I ever never talked to you in the tutorial. Hmm. I feel kind of bad if I didn't. Also, those are some creepy dolls. <laughs> yeah, actually... Um... I'll take some milk. Yeah, it's got two helpings, and three hearts is still pretty good for this point of the game, so... It's a good thing it won't go sour either, because I might hold on to it for quite a while. Oh, actually, there's one more guy, but he's technically not a fodder, is he? I'll talk to him anyway. Hi. Mm-hmm. Just 
came to tell him the good news. No way in hell I'm doing this goat herding ever again. Gotta be honest, that jump was awkward. Like, even the Nintendo 64 had a better uh, handle of how the jump should look like. Oh, not this! Like, it's, it looks dramatic, but it's followed by a really, really dumb scene. It's time to prove yourself, Colin! Also, the other kids is running the wrong direction. For what it's worth, that guy is kind of cool. D this guy, not Barnes. <laughs> hey, I'm off to the rescue of Colin, who stupidly got in the way to save the, you know, the other kid. But still, hell, he had ample time to, to whatever, whatever. It's a, as far as I'm concerned, it's a kind of a dumb scene. Because it's supposed to be about all about Colin proving himself, you know? About proving himself to be a real hero. But no, he's... He's not. And how... Really? You had that much time to do this? Also, yeah. This might actually be kind of difficult because... Uh, this is your first time... Uh, Actually, uh, doing real uh, horseback riding combat. And every enemy here is going to deal tremendous amounts of damage against me. So, I need to be careful. Come back here. My sword is up. I'm going to stab you. Oops. Ah, missed. Come on. Uh, do avoid the fire! Ah, oh, come on, Epona. That's not what you were supposed to do. You have infinity time to catch up to him, by the way. This is, like, supposed to be a, an area where the enemies are gonna keep uh, attacking you until you die or you rescue Colin. There we go. Got him on the ropes! I almost completely finished him right away. Uh, oop. Milk, milk, milk. That's what it's for. Ow, ow. Ignore them. Attack him. I could have jumped to two, but I didn't feel like it. There. See? Only one hit left. But eh, we're still not done with him. Not yet. Gotta have a standoff on the bridge. Because, you know, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah. Stay calm, Epona. I should be able to do this within three tries. If I recall, if you fall off, it's one heart of damage, so instant game over if I screw up. Mm. Ready? Dodge! Ah. Okay, I don't know what's up with those controls, but this is sort of kind of a cutscene-like, you know? Ready? Ah, uh, game over. <laughs> I, I, I'm not surprised I screwed up. This is a kind of finicky to deal against this guy. And I, I just start back here, so whatever. Oh, I can skip. Cool. 
Okay. So move to over here. Oh, come on. Yeah, I have to hold the button. I keep trying to do a spin attack by rotating the control stick, but it doesn't work, so I should just hold the B button, really. Go here. Ah! Wait, I'm alive? Okay, he deals two hearts of damage. Fair enough. There. One hit. I believe I have to do two of them? Maybe three. C what? Come on, Epona! Y you have all the time in the world, but still. Ah, I missed. There. Your turn to fall into the abyss. He's gonna come back. Much like I did. Both me and that guy have infinity continues. I suppose I should make this a thumbnail. It's supposed to make me look cool, but that was not fun at all. Really? <laughs> His lips kept moving for quite a while there. Yeah, I was supposed to do it in this video, but you had to get yourself into trouble. Like, I should really be bl blaming Beth, but really. If anyone should be, like, apologizing to him, it's uh, that little brat that pushed him uh, last video. The one with the bandana. He was the one who was really, really rude. Are we done? <laughs> it's earnest. This game is earnest. It's not bad. It's about to get a lot better, I promise. And I'm about to enjoy it a lot more too. No worries. Actually, can I get some water here? Uh, I guess I can. It's just water though. And yet somehow it can heal me. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I hope you have a nice day. Next time, Death Mountain. And maybe some of the second dungeon. Bye-bye.